Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. Since we are nearing July now for the Walking Dead release, and of course the Walking Dead release is at the end of August, and we do have a new promo and some new information for the Walking Dead Season 11 now, I want to do kind of a double season premiere, Atron Part 1 and 2 predictions for the general episodes. Okay guys, this is going to be doing another video for today. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today. This one's going to be talking about the final season of The Walking Dead. And of course, after yesterday, after getting the brand new uh, kind of uh, little minor teaser for The Walking Dead Season 11, wanted to do a Episode 1 and Episode 2 predictions video. Now, um, before I was going to do this video, I was like, okay, I'll just do kind of a season premiere predictions. But I'm like, I don't know, because we got some more synopsis for the first two episodes, Plus, episodes one and two is Atron part one and Atron part two, which, you know my opinion, I think we should definitely be getting those two episodes on the same night. I really don't understand why we're not. But uh, simply, you know, whatever, we're going to get one episode, we're going to get the other one the next week. But uh, either way, I want to do kind of a basic episode predictions for, you know, the both episodes. So, uh, because that's those are the two episodes we know the most information about. So, um, now... Both of these episodes, I'm starting to get very excited for. You know, I've been very rather nervous for the final season of The Walking Dead. I'm going to be honest, just because when it comes to ending a show, when it comes to ending a series, you always have to make sure that you have the best ending possible. And a lot of shows, I, I hate to say it, I'm not trying to throw jabs at any other shows or whatever. You could take this as really anything. There are a lot of crappy endings for shows. There are. There are a lot of crappy endings for shows. So that's why I left myself a little nervous going going into this, you know, this final season, because um, I don't want my favorite show to have a bad ending. But uh, right now, at least for the first two episodes, I'm really liking the way this is sounding. So uh, my general predictions for episode one, uh, I think we're going to get to see the characters. They're going to be kind of uh, now that the characters are all back together and they're not doing these kind of separate supp uh, supply runs now. They're going to, of course, uh, by Maggie's request, based off of what we can tell from the synopsis, they're going to go into this train station and they're going to explore, basically. So um, I'm not really sure how this is supposed to connect to the Commonwealth and how much of this we're going to see connect to the Commonwealth, because I don't think our survivors are going to run into the Commonwealth immediately. I could be wrong. I absolutely could, but I just don't see that happening at the moment. Um so I definitely think that we will see them in this train station. And based off of what I can tell, it sounds like we're going to get to see a big group of walkers that kind of interfere and kind of, you know, causes some problems and raises some hell. And that definitely sounds like something we could see in the premiere. Now, I don't know in terms of character deaths if we're going to see anybody major die. If we do, I feel like it'll be background characters, maybe, a, you know, a handful of Maggie's people, you know, may, maybe some like good fighters that maybe die because there's so many, you know, so many walkers in this train station and they die trying to like protect the group or something. I could see something like that, but I don't really see a lot of like main characters like dying or even like BC listers, probably not too many if at all, but I think we're definitely going to see a lot of fighting with the walkers and it looks like based off of what I can tell, that's not the only storyline we're going to see in the first episode. Now, it also seems like we're going to get to see Eugene, Princess, Yumiko, and Ezekiel uh, with the Commonwealth. So that's going to be also kind of, we're going to be exploring that around the same time. Now, I think we will pick up probably with them, like with the bags on their heads. I, I think so. Um, I think we'll see them like walking, their hands will be tied, it'll be right afterwards, maybe they're walking around like kind of this this random road, got bags on their heads, maybe we'll get a conversation between like uh, a few of them, maybe they're talking or something like that. And then I think they're going to bring them to the Commonwealth. I think we will see uh, they, uh, a little early look at the Commonwealth. Not probably much, but I think that we'll see probably that they make it there. I don't think we'll see like a wide shot of the Commonwealth location because I know that they were still building it. So we'll, we'll probably just get the idea that they're arriving there and we'll see them in that like fenced area, like that little jail area that they're like all eating in and stuff like that. Um, I think we'll see stuff like that. And I think that they're going to be probably kind of like trying to say like, look, we got to find a way out of here. Let's make a plan. Let's try to figure this out, you know, stuff like that. And, um, you know, honestly, uh, it, you know, for once, I think it'd be cool actually just to make episode 20 lo not look absolutely horrible. If, you know, you got a line from Princess or something that's like, like, is, is this real? And they're all like, well what do you mean? She's like, uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Like maybe she's not trusting that she's actually here with them or something. Like she's got PTSD. Um, that would be cool. Cause at least it wouldn't make episode 20 look like the worst thing in the world, which it already does. So, 
I'm just saying you can try to help stuff out there by princess, like maybe not believing like, oh, like it, are, are we really doing this? Is this, is this real? You know, maybe she's kind of losing it a bit. Uh, just a minor scene. Don't overdo it, but maybe one little line or something kind of thrown in there, uh, would, would be pretty cool just to kind of reference back to episode 20. But here's what I'm thinking. Episode one, we're going to see an ending where we get to meet Mercer for the first time. Yes, I just said that. We're going to meet Mercer for the first time at the end of episode one. They're going to open up the cage with the four of them sitting there eating. And Mercer is going to say that they're ready to see them. And that's going to be the end of the episode. That's what I'm thinking. And then, you know, we'll, we'll see that spill into episode two. We'll get a promo for episode two or a this season promo. And we'll see in the promo Eugene being interviewed by, by you know, um, you know uh, Mercer. We'll see probably the Commonwealth, the big community. We'll see, you know, our survivors in the train yard. We'll probably see some clips of like Virgil and Connie. We'll see a lot of that stuff. We'll see the Reapers in the trailer raising some hell. Maybe they capture some, you know, stuff like that. That'll be like the this season promo. But the very end of the premiere is when Mercer says he's ready to see them. That I definitely think is going to happen. That's just where I stand. Uh, I definitely think that's going to be the ending of the premiere. But I think right before we see that scene, I think our survivors will be kind of caught up with these walkers in this train yard. Um, I think, you know, there'll be a lot of stuff in there. Uh, maybe some Reapers. We, we could see it. Something like that. I could definitely see maybe a few Reapers kind of slowly introducing themselves in this premiere. But I don't think it'll be anything major. So that's kind of generally what I'm thinking for that season premiere. Which that on its own, I'm, I'm excited. I'm very very, very excited. Now, episode two, we're going to get to see uh, what it sounds like is that the characters are going to be all very much um, trying to fight uh, in this train yard. Still, it sounds like they're kind of trapped and we're going to get to see uh, Negan apparently be uh, apparently a problem for them. That I really have no idea what they mean by that, but that is something that was thrown in the synopsis. So, We'll have to see what that means. Uh, but I definitely think that we will see Negan get more uh, screen time in episode two and probably prove himself even more in episode two, uh, which I think should be good. So I think episode one, we may not get the most Negan, but I think episode two, we're going to see a lot of Negan and a lot of uh, him. Uh, maybe some scenes between him and Daryl will be nice. Uh, maybe him and Lydia too, because we do know Lydia is going to be with them on this trip. So maybe we'll see a bit more of Negan and Lydia stuff and, uh, you know, some, some cool stuff like that. But I still don't think anybody's going to die in episode two. And like I said, if they do, it'll be like a like a c-lister you know i don't think we're gonna see any major deaths to start off this season but you know i honestly could be wrong and if i am that's great because that means it's unpredictable so uh episode two as well on the flip side i think we're gonna get to see eugene being interviewed first uh, i think we'll see something and this is just what i'm thinking i think we'll see a more kind of um how can i compare this like Almost like Fear the Walking Dead, season six, episode 11, The Holding, where you see all these clips of all of them being interviewed at once and all answering the same question, like, but different characters. Uh, if you guys know what I mean there, like, you know, you got Alicia answering the question, Luciana answers, Althea answers the question, and it's all the same question that Mercer's asking. In this case, it's, you know, Yumiko, Eugene, Ezekiel, and Princess, and they're all answering the questions and stuff like that. Except in this case, they're actually good guys. They're, they're actually, like, you know, good people. Um, and we delve into Mercer a little bit. And I could definitely see some scenes where maybe Mercer's like talking with one of the guards and they're like, you know, do they work out? Mercer's like, I'm not sure about them yet. So they're, you know, I'm a little suspicious about them, but you know, we'll let, you know, so-and-so, you know, I uh, say, and this is when my prediction comes in. Okay, guys, uh, this is where my major episode two prediction comes in. Um, call me crazy. Definitely call me crazy. I know there's been a lot of theories. There's been, you know, some, there's been the leaked pictures of the guy in the suit and the Commonwealth and this and that. We are almost damn near July and I have not heard a darn thing of Pamela. I've never heard anything about Pamela. So I'm going to say this and I know people are going to call me crazy and I know people are going to say, Dan, you are, I cannot agree with you. And that's fine. Um, I think Pamela is a guy in the TV show. I do. I think they're going to have a male leader of the Commonwealth. Um, they're going to pull a Deanna on us, a Deanna and Douglas switch. I think, um, that's what I'm thinking because we're almost July now, you know, like we're almost July. We still haven't heard a darn thing. Mercer's been confirmed for hell. How long now? Uh, freaking like, you know, uh, I think, um, yeah. And we haven't heard anything from Lance. Uh, Sebastian, I do know there's been rumors about this kid. So that one is kind of up in the air, but I know for a fact that there's been rumors about this kid. Um, I honestly have a feeling that the male, uh, or that the leader of the Commonwealth is going to be a male, uh, in the TV show. Um, 
I don't know what his name could be or anything like that, but I definitely think that not only will we see uh, Pamela actually be a male character in the show, which I know probably hearing that probably sounds crazy, uh, but that's my theory until I see otherwise. I don't know why. I feel like they're going to switch in the show. Um, and, uh, and then the other one is I think that Lance will not exist, and I think Mercer will be the one that interviews, the one that does this, and the guy that we keep seeing on set with the suit, I think is going to be the leader of the Commonwealth. That is my thoughts. And here is the final scene of episode two, in my opinion. The final scene of episode two will be Yumiko, Eugene, Ezekiel, and Princess. They'll be tied up. They'll be taken into this office with these guards. Like They're like, move, move, keep going. The big doors will open. I know this sounds drastic, but the big doors will open. The four of them will be prisoners. Their hands will be tied. You'll see the big doors open. You're going to get the shot of the comics with the two soldiers standing to the side. The male the male leader sitting there kind of like this, all chill at, at the table, maybe giving a, a small smirk or whatever, seeing the four of them come in like all tied up. And the male leader of the Commonwealth introduces himself. And I really think... For trailers and for advertisements, I think this guy could really put on kind of a level of like creepiness to his voice, you know, something like that. Like he's very creepy, you know, like he's very in the shadows, you know, stuff like that. I think for trailers, I think that could be really cool. Very much in the shadows, you know, stuff like that. He's sitting there with the two guards kind of in the shadows in the back and he's kind of talking to them and stuff like that. And he's like, welcome to the Commonwealth, you know, I don't know something about that. I just. I, I don't know. I need to see if that is what they do. Because honestly, I'm telling you what, I'm calling this now. I could be wrong. I absolutely could be. And maybe there just a, really is a late, um, you know, confirmation of the leader of the Commonwealth. And maybe at Comic-Con, they'll reveal there is a female leader after all. But I think Lance will not exist. I think Mercer's going to interview them. Mercer will have maybe even a bigger role than in the comics. And we'll see a male leader of the Commonwealth. That's what I'm thinking. I know people are going to come at me and say, Dan, you're so off. But honestly, until I see otherwise, that's what I'm going with, to be honest. So there's a basic predictions of episode two. I think that is basically what we're going to see. Episode two, episode one, the Atron part one and two. That's my thoughts on it. But now I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think is going to happen in the first two episodes of The Walking Dead final season, part one, season 11? So anyway, guys, thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Write your comments, comments section below. If you guys are new here, click to subscribe so you don't miss out my Walking Dead videos. Follow Dan's Walking Dead videos. Subscribe, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another Walking Dead video. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys. And peace out. Anybody out there?